Hey, what's up YouTube? My name's It's Ali, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make any mic, even if it's like a crappy $20 mic, sound like a professional mic. So before we get into the video, I just want to give a quick shout out to Invictus YT for um, commenting on my YouTube video, make that two more subs. I said thanks bro, he said no problem, and it was really helpful. And when, it, when he said no problem, it was really helpful, that was like made me feel pretty good so you're getting a shout out and in this video whoever the first person to comment on this video is will get a shout out so if you're watching this don't forget to get into that conversation and um comment for a shout out and also don't forget to like and let's see if we can get five likes on the video and if we do that that will be greatly appreciated now don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for helpful tips and tips and tricks videos and gameplays so without further ado let's get into the video now the first thing you should always do when recording your voice is turn any fans off and shut any windows because wind or the noise from fans can greatly um affect your audio um so most of you might complain saying if my windows are uh, closed and my fans off it gets too hot in the room but seriously just suck it up and um just just turn your fan off and close your window for recording the video and then when you're done recording um leave them open for anything else so um so yeah do that seriously so the second thing you can do is find a nice position for your mic. Now this is really crucial for recording because if you're too close to your mic, then your audio will get all stuffy sounding and your audio will start clipping. And if you're too far away from your mic, it won't pick up your vocals as well and it will sound echoey like you're in a big empty room. So you want to find a good distance between you and your mic to sound clear and non-echoey. Um, the third and final tip, actually no, the third and second final tip is to get yourself a pop filter. Now, if you don't want this, is it's basically a thing you put in front of your mic that removes the spit sounds, like p um, sound, for example. And you can buy pop filters for as cheap as five dollars, but I don't recommend getting any um, over fifteen dollars um, because they all do the same thing, and um, the extra ten dollars can be used to get yourself a better, like I don't know put into getting a better gaming monitor or something um, and the fourth and final tip is to not be too loud and screaming into your mic because people will find you weird and click off your video and don't be too quiet otherwise people won't understand what you're saying and your video will be clippy so now that we have the tips out of the way let's get into how to edit your audio on audacity all right so we're here in audacity now um this is not being recorded with audacity because i'm recording with obs so i can't edit it so i'm sorry if this audio sounds really really terrible so anyway we're in we're here in audacity so what we want to do is uh i've got a little test clip just here so we're gonna listen to that through once Okay, so now that that's finished, um, as you can see here, we've got a big gap um, that's about eight seconds. Now, what, why I recommend you do this is because we're going to be doing something where we select this and remove all background noise from this and then delete this. So you need um, about eight seconds in between. If you want, you can go down to about five, but I, rec I don't recommend any lower than five. So the first thing we're going to be doing is get getting rid of the background noise. So what we're gonna do is go up uh, the top here uh, actually, no, first we're going to select everything that you're not speaking. So select all of this, just right, left, uh, right click, uh, left click, I mean, and drag all the way to about there. And then what you want to go is go up the top, go to uh, effect. Then what we want to go to is um, noise reduction, just here. Um, on noise reduction, uh, copy these settings if you haven't already. And what we want to press is get noise profile while we've selected this. Once that's happened, we want to hit um, the Windows key A and that will select everything. And then go back up to effect and press re at the very top repeat noise reduction. And that will get rid of all the noise in here. So now, if we can, what we can do is get is select all this and get rid of it. Progression delay, and now it's listen to it. A lot better, doesn't it? 
All right, next we're going to be adding a bass boost beat. And I recommend doing this if you're a kid like me, adding a bass boost because it will make you set your voice a bit deeper and also a treble boost. I don't like to have much of a treble boost. So what we're going to do is go Windows key A uh, and then go up to effect. And then we're going to hit equalization. Okay, so now this page comes up. So what we're going to select down here and hit bass boost. That will come up. And now you can choose what bass boost you want. I like to keep it about 10 decibels because that's just what suits me, but you can find your own. So now we've read that, hit OK, and we can listen to this again. And it sounds a lot deeper. Now we'll go up again to effect, repeat equalization, and now we'll listen to it again. Uh, And that is a lot better. Actually, no, I think I'm going to remove that. Just make it a bit smaller. Okay, effect. And then we'll go to equalization. Not repeat equalization. And now we're going to add a treble boost. Now, I like to make my treble boost really low because if you preview this, it doesn't sound very well. Okay, as you can see, that doesn't sound very good. So I just like to add a really small one about two, one, one or two decibels just there and hit OK. And now we listen to this through one more time. As you can see, that's a lot better than before. Now the very last thing we're going to do is go up to Effect and then look for Compressor. There it is, Compressor. And just compress this, copy these settings, Depends how loud you are in your video or how quiet you are. And but I'd just leave it default and hit OK. And then we'll listen to it through one last time. As you can see, that sounds incredible. So now how you save this is you go up top again, hit File, and then hit Export. Export Audio. Um, and add it to whatever you want. Uh, and title it and then hit save. I'm not going to do that because it's not mine. So yeah, that's all I've got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed and remember to, um, if you're watching this, go down in the comment section and hit um, and get post a comment, sorry, uh, for your chance for a shout out because first person to do that gets a shout out. And we're going to be doing five likes because I would greatly appreciate it. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more videos. This has been It's Elite and I'm out. See you in the next one. Bye.